Hi everyone, welcome to Wendy's Lookbook. We are doing a vintage Wendy's Lookbook episode. We're filming at home with Manny. She's back. I actually think her fashion sense grew significantly since we last we saw her. She's wearing a belt dress now. But we actually just moved. We moved about a few weeks ago. And the old place, there was not that much lighting, so it's really hard for us to film at home. But the new place has bigger windows, so we plan to film at home more often. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing heels. It is not a trend. I do not wear heels at home with my PJs. Uh, but we're gonna do a little magic so you can see why I have to maintain the same height. So today, we're gonna play with one of my favorite pairings. Boop, a dress. And we're gonna style it in multiple ways. You know, traditionally, a dress is really worn on its own. But I really like the creative challenge of finding new ways to wear it. So we're gonna wear it as a skirt, as a top, and also as a tunic. And this really maximizes just our variety of items in our closet. So, Manny, I'm gonna borrow it back from you. Boop, and boop. This is the foundation to our pairing episode. And this dress is by MS Jam. I am always in awe with his creations. I think he's so artistic. For this dress, he used three different lace colors and created a bandage shift dress. I've been searching for lace dresses for so long. I've never seen a pattern like this before. It's one of my favorite dresses in my closet. And this concept really works well with any dress. It doesn't have to be a lace dress. But for the best result, make sure that the dress has more of a slimming silhouette. We're gonna move on and turn this into a top. Boop. Voila, it is now a top. I just added a flare skirt over it, and it really works with a pencil skirt and also like a maxi skirt. But for this pairing, I wanted to use the same color palette as the lace, so I'm adding blue to match to give it kind of a nice harmonious tone. So we're gonna turn it the other way around and make it a skirt. Boop. And now we have a skirt. We can pair you know, basically almost any top with it. We can put a blouse on top. For this outfit, I really like adding a sweater mainly because I like creating the juxtaposition between the more conservative piece on top and the modern lace bottom. And we're creating a peekaboo effect, which is actually one of my favorite things, by pulling the sleeves downwards and having the sweater rest just on top of it. And the belt actually, not to only to cinch our waistline, but it actually helps secure the sweater onto the dress itself. And now we're gonna create a tunic for our next pairing. And now it is a tunic. So basically, we're shortening the dress by adding a belt actually underneath, right here. And we're rolling the extra fabric over it to hide the belt. At the same time, it shortens our dress, creating the more tunic look. We're adding uh, leggings underneath and a nice jacket over it. I like the leather jacket because again, it creates a dynamic contrast with the delicate lace, so it gives it kind of the, the chic city girl look. But we're adding an orange clutch, which is a complementary color to blue, to give us that pop of color. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had fun. Really transforming a dress different ways just adds so much more variety to our outfits. But thank you so much again. I'm gonna change back to my PJs now. better. <laughs> Thank you so much again and I hope you have fun playing with your dress. See you soon on YouTube land. Bye!